Well, this is this hive is hive number one. We've got the lid off, and I wanted to show you uh, how well they've done with this second brood chamber. I didn't take a honey harvest off of them because I had treated them with amitraz at a at a point where um, I didn't feel like I could safely take the honey, and I've just let them go. And I wanted to show you what a difference it makes with the second brood chamber. And it's really just amazing. Look at this. I'm going to have to do little, if any, feeding of these bees for the winter. You still have some frames that have been filled up and consumed or, or not filled up yet all the way but you can see that these bees are on track and and they really could get almost no feeding that's a bit of wonky comb very little if any feeding and they'll be good for the winter we have a very short winter here and i think they're going to be okay with almost no feeding now <clears throat> some of this stuff the vast majority of it was probably collected by them during cotton season and some other you know some trees that bloomed and after the amitraz treatment and i i realistically could pull this honey and it should be fine. But then if I pulled that honey, would I have to feed them? Why would I turn around and feed them if they've already fed themselves? Sure, I could make money off the honey, but um, I, I think it's better to have a nice... These are calm, healthy bees. It's a great colony. They are obviously productive. They drew comb in the middle of July. So they're obviously a colony that I want to preserve. So, you know, why take the risk with them by pulling their honey off? There we go. All this propolis is really stuck on there. Look at that. It is September. It's September, and this looks like what you would see during spring buildup. This first frame is always the toughest to get out. That's why I like this little hook doodad. It's not absolutely essential, but I think it saves you a lot of heartache. So look, I see bees putting in fresh pollen. I see some drones. This is what a healthy colony looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a bee with pollen. 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 So these bees have found a, a nice pollen source. They've obviously found a nectar source. I can see some wet nectar. Here's pollen here. So these bees... Not only are on a source, they are uh, they're thriving. They're putting that stuff away. Let's take a look. Wow, more pollen. They're really getting ready for that buildup. We got a cell here. Uh, it looks old. So my goal right now, look at all this pollen just falling out. Wow. So my goal right now, look at that. It's a really good brood pattern for September. And just, I see so much pollen being brought in. They're really, they're ready for the buildup. Okay, see. I'm going to go just long enough. The, the, there's very 
low light right now. So I want to go just long enough to see some, either the queen or see some brood. Even in this low light, this comb is fairly dark and I should be able to see it. Look at that. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. All of that. Wow. They're ready. All right, just had one bee fly at my hand. So that means I need to get out of here soon. The queen's gotta be over here somewhere. I see larvae and eggs. There's still drone comb. You've got backfill here. You've got larvae, eggs, drone comb. This is all the signs of a healthy colony for this time of year. This is all Larvae, capped, drone. Backfill up, backfill down here. I've seen enough. I don't think I need to dig anymore. Just had one bee fly in my hand. And I want to keep these guys happy and calm. These gals, rather. Okay. So, very healthy colony, very little stores of honey down below, but they're backfilling with nectar. So that tells me, leave them alone. I'm going to leave this top box as is. And when it gets cooler, I'll check on them again and probably around the time Oh, they need treatment with oxalic acid. They'll also get some feed. Oh, man, that's heavy. Now, I've debated with myself on what to do as far as single or double brood chamber. I think here, a lot of people bring it down to a single brood chamber about this time of year. I have been very impressed with the double brood chamber. Again, I'm not trying to make a tremendous amount of honey this year. I have made what I'm going to make. I want to rebuild. That was my main priority, was rebuilding. And I think I've done that. So as far as I'm concerned, I think they should be able to keep this upper honey. And this is a really healthy colony going into the the autumn. And we'll just have to, to keep a little eye on them. But realistically, unless something happens to that queen, unless there's a swarm, this is a, this is a very impressive colony. I don't know why. I'm a surgeon. I don't really know why I keep trying to tie it that way. Knowing full well it's not going to tie. Not square knot. Okay, there we go. Shh, shh, shh.